In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best config settings for Fortnite Chapter 4. These settings are gonna help you get more FPS, lower input delay, and fix any and all FPS drops or stutters that you might be experiencing in the new Fortnite Chapter 4. Now, these are the settings that I personally use, and I'm also gonna show you guys a couple of other tweaks and optimizations to go along with it. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. But without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. So, the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is resetting our default config file so that we can create a new one and then change the settings into that. So in order to do that, open up your start menu and search for run. Click on it to open up the run box and once it opens up, type in percentage, local, app data and then percentage once again, hit OK and it should open up the local folder. Now inside of here, what you need to do is scroll down until you can find the Fortnite game folder. Just right click on it, click on rename and then just enter anything such as one. Just rename it to anything that you want, hit enter and that's basically it. And now you have a successfully reset Fortnite config file. As you can see, I have a bunch of those old files uh, which in case I need to revert to those settings, I can just rename them back to Fortnite game and that would be it. But now what we need to do is launch our game and create a new file so that we can apply the best settings into it. In order to do that, we're going to be opening up the Epic Games Launcher first and optimizing it, then moving on to the config. So just open up the Epic Games Launcher, click on your profile and then click on the settings. Inside of here, just go ahead and uncheck enable offline mode browsing, minimize to system tray so that when we close it down, it doesn't just minimize here, but it completely exits from the background as well, giving us a bit of more performance in the game. Then run when my PC starts, that's basically a no-brainer, just uncheck it so that it does not load up when booting the windows, enable debug logging, uncheck, hide game library, uncheck, and then allow installs while editor is running, just keep this on, and also enable cloud saves, this one is a personal preference, however I would recommend keeping this on. Throttle downloads and use proxy should also be unchecked. Then for the desktop notifications, just make sure that these two are turned off, it is highly recommended because if you are playing a game and a notification pops up on your screen from the epic games then it will force the game out of the exclusive full screen mode hence giving you lower performance and also causing a lot of fps drops so in order to avoid that just go ahead and disable these notifications and then just scroll down to uh, allow auto updates yes allow install during gameplay just make sure that this one is turned off as well otherwise you will see huge ping spikes or network lag while you are playing a game then go ahead and open up the fortnite and and inside of here, just go ahead and click on the additional command line arguments. Now we are going to be adding three command line arguments inside of here. And I know that I have always recommended not using them, but you should use these three, even though they might not help you as much, but still they are worth it. So the first one is the dash and then LAN play. So L-A-N-P-L-A-Y and then space. This one is basically going to help you with the hit registration and network tag. So yeah, then go ahead and press a space, then dash again. And now this time go ahead and type in the no splash what this one is gonna do is that it's not gonna load up the splash screen when loading the game and then finally once again hit space and then dash and then just go ahead and type in use all available cores and what this is going to do is it's gonna force the game to use all of the available cores especially if you have a multi-core processor it's gonna really help you with the performance of Fortnite, giving you guys a couple of more fps and overall smoother gameplay so these are the three that you should be using i'm also gonna go ahead and include it in inside of the pack uh, which we are going to be coming to after we apply the settings but yeah these are going to be included inside of the pack as well so just go ahead and look them up there and then paste them then just go there then click back and now what you need to do is just go ahead and launch fortnite and we're going to be changing these settings inside of there so once you guys load up fortnite it's going to give you a option to find the best settings which we are going to be going ahead and declining humbly so yeah all right so once the game loads up you're going to be going ahead and seeing this blue um background lobby so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be fixing this blue background lobby first open up the settings go into the settings once again wow that was a lot of settings but what you need to do is open up this gear icon and then just go to language set it to any language press a to apply uh yes yes and then go back to your default language a to apply confirm 
confirm and now as you guys can see that the background of the lobby is fixed so now what we can do is move on to the settings so open up and uh, the settings from here and we're going to be setting the windowed mode to full screen obviously as even epic itself says that in full screen mode you cannot interact with other windows but the game will run smoothly as for the resolution uh, just keep it at native but i personally use 1600 by 900 and this is probably the one that you should always be looking for to try a bit lower resolution so that you can get even more performance for vsync turn it off fps frame rate limit just set it one above your monitor's refresh rate so i have a 60 hertz monitor and i'm gonna set it to 120 another thing to keep in mind is that i do get a 120 average fps so that is the reason i have set it to 120 for the rendering mode i'm just gonna go ahead and set it to performance mode uh, brightness 100 percent and these are basically all of the personal preference options just keep the motion blur off and as for the quality preset just go ahead and set it to low then what you need to do is set this 200 percent and set the view distance to medium and that's basically it and that's all you need to do inside of here then go ahead and hit apply and then it will say that you will need to restart your game just hit confirm hit yes and now what we need to do is just go into these settings make sure that all of these replays down here are all turned off go back and what you need to do now is exit out of the fortnite so now that we have closed out of fortnite we're going to be going ahead and opening up the config file and apply the best settings so go down to your start menu once again and this time go ahead and type in the run once more go ahead and click on it to open it up and inside of here once again go ahead and type in the percentage local and then app data and then percentage once again hit ok this should open up now inside of here you will see a newly created fortnite game folder just go ahead and open it up go inside of saved config windows client and then right click on the game user settings and click on edit now there are a lot of things inside of here that you should be changing such as show grass should always be set to false when it isn't so in my case it's already set to false so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it at that then go down to the desired global elimination quality and set this to zero also set the desired reflection quality to zero then go ahead and keep scrolling down and when you see the B disable mouse acceleration, it should be set to false. So just go ahead and set it to true. We don't want the mouse acceleration because it's basically gonna help you with the aim and overall mouse precision. So yeah, other than that, just go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down until you get to your resolution. Just go ahead and change it to any resolution that you want if you haven't already. So in case you want to use a stretch resolution, this is where you would want to change it. Then go ahead and keep scrolling down. And once again, when inside of the scalability groups, just set the anti-aliasing to 2 so just go ahead and set this to 0 also set the v distance quality to 1 because that was the medium but other than that everything here should be good just change the settings that i've changed inside of here then hit file hit save close out of this right click on it go into properties and check the read only hit apply hit ok and now you are done now what you need to do is go down into the description of this video and download the fortnite fps pack 2023 from my website now the website does have a few ads which help this channel but they all open up in a new tab so just close any of the new tabs that might open up and you should be good once you have downloaded the pack just right click on it click on extract files or just extract it using 7-zip finra or whatever you want and then just go ahead and open it up inside of here you will find the command lines that we used in the uh, epic games launcher so yeah you can copy them from here but what we're going to be doing is opening up the registry tweaks and apply all of these one by one so just double click on them hit yes hit ok and all of these will do as they say on their name uh, so for example this one is gonna help you with the keyboard input delay this one is gonna help you with the memory management and this one is gonna help you with the monitor latency once you have applied all of these go back into the pack and open up the batch tweaks inside of here once again just right click on them and run them as admin and this one is gonna help you with reducing the input latency this one is obviously gonna help you with clearing up the space on your drive as well as improving the windows performance so this might take a lot of time and what we're going to be doing is minimizing it so just keep it running in the background until it is done for the clear dns cache it's going to go ahead and improve your ping so yeah once it's done press any key to continue disable hpet the high precision event timer once again improves the delay so right click 
run it as administrator, press any to continue. Then for the process idle tasks, just go ahead and do the same thing. Run them as administrator and as you can see the credits are already here. Run process, yep, do this, press any key to continue and then once it's done, it's going to go ahead and close out. So once you are done with that, just go ahead and right click on the remove telemetry services, run this as administrator, press any key to continue and it's going to remove all of the telemetry services that send your data to Windows and other services. It's gonna go ahead and remove all of those. So just press any to continue. This is also gonna help you with privacy. So that's another good thing. Then go back into the pack and open up the registry tweak for the Ragnetix Gaming Registry. Now this is a really powerful registry file and a lot of these settings might be that you don't want. So what you need to do is open up your start menu and search for create a restore point. Go ahead and open it up. Inside of here select your Windows drive, click on configure, turn on system protection and set the max usage to around 4 or 5 percent. Hit OK, then click on create and then just go ahead and create anything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name it my restore. So yeah, just name it anything, click on create and now a system restore point is created which you can use to revert all of the changes that will be applied using this registry tweak. So now that the restore point has been created, click on close, hit OK and all you need to do is drag this file onto the powerrun.exe, then hit yes and then hit OK. Now the reason I'm not pressing yes is because I'm recording a video and I don't want to mess it up but all you need to do is hit yes and then hit ok and then go ahead and restart your pc and you should be done so those are basically all of the tweaks inside of this video which will help you tremendously in improving your fps getting more fps and fixing any and all fps drops in the new fortnite chapter 4 if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and also happy new year to all of you i hope that all of you are doing well in this new year but with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome